Okay. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So it's very early in the morning, so I'm a bit tired. I don't know why, or I'm not, but I'm not drinking coffee because it's not very good for me. So I'm going to go through this. The uh, concept of this video is a very interesting video that I saw on the internet and there is this girl Maddie and I will link her channel below and I love her so much she has a bunch of videos where she does introspective uh, questions and um, talks about her life and uh, gives dating advice uh, for girls and boys and I love her channel very much because it, it generally seems like a casual conversation and that's what I really wanted to do so you can know me better but on a different level and there is this game I think it's called we are not strangers anymore and she basically plays this game in one of her videos which I will link it below and uh, she answers to a few questions from this card game so I just thought that it would be a very good idea if I answer to these questions as well so I can play this game on my own and uh, share my life with you in a different way and also do a little introspection that uh, I'm playing with you in a way so let's get uh, into the question if you want you can also play this game with your family or on your own do a little retrospection and journal about it talk about your feelings emotions and stuff like that i think it's a very interesting idea and the first question is what is the most attractive quality that isn't physical hmm let me think about it i think the most attractive quality that isn't physical for me is kindness when a person is generally kind and uh, compassionate um, the words he says the way he acts the love maybe what he shows towards animal I also very like persons who are very nice to animals because that's how I imagine my partner to be and form connections with people I also like people who are just as introspective uh, how I am so it's a very bit or odd I don't know but I don't like people who say a lot and who are very chatty to the point that you cannot even say a question or cannot even say a word without being interrupted so i like people so i like those people who actually listen to your conversations and to actually yeah who are actually good listeners and who can also ask you good questions which make you think about yourself in another way so for me it's also honesty actually when you are first in the face of knowing someone and you just find out that this person is lying I think it's very unattractive and it actually just when I find out that someone lies to me on the first or second date I just cut this person off because I think it doesn't matter uh, which thing he lied about I just don't care because if he lied in the first phase of our relationship then what will happen in the middle or towards the end like I don't like liars yeah so for me it's kindness being present being a good listener and being honest and these are the three qualities I find more attractive than physical ones so I find your ex on your Instagram feed that's a very good question because at that time when I had this actual boyfriend I didn't even have Instagram so I think I made my Instagram last year and I was really like uh, um, anxious about it because I thought that my uh, students will find my Instagram the answer is very easy because 
I didn't look up my exes on my Instagram and I didn't uh, want to add them on my Instagram and I don't like to add people who I know uh, what has being single taught about yourself? So being single has taught about myself a lot. Um, I wish I was single more. Because I was in that phase when I really started to know myself better. And you know, I was feeling myself happier. And then this man came into my life. And then, you know, the thing changed because I wanted to focus on him. And I started to forget myself. Like I was so into this relationship, I really started to forget about my own mental health, and this ended in uh, serious depression for me. And it also almost caused the end of the relationship. So just forgetting yourself in the meantime of making the other person happy it's very bad for you i wish i was i wish i had more time to know myself but right now i'm at this point with my with my relationship when i can really think about my feelings and i'm distancing myself like i'm not distancing myself in an emotional sense i still like and i still love this person very much but i'm also loving myself and starting to learn myself and starting to love the things I say and feel and uh, I started to accept myself more so I think being single um, because I was single for a really long time I had a few relationships here and there but they uh, weren't serious so I think I was single until I won 22 which sound which is okay at that time i was like why am i single at 22 years old and i connected my happiness with being with someone and um, i think that for example in high school people tend to judge you when you're not in a relationship and there were people who i don't know they tried to pick on me because i wasn't in a relationship and they say to me things like that, like, you are not in a relationship because you are so stupid or you are so ugly that no one can love you and things like that. And uh, it was really bad for me, actually. And I really started to connect being in a relationship with being loved because I couldn't get that much love. So for these single tones, like my favorite book is Bridget Jones, actually. <laughs> I just can say that don't worry about being single, just enjoy this time, try to embrace yourself. So the next uh, question, what, uh, what are the three most important things in a relationship? I think I really answered this uh, because for me the three most important uh, things in a relationship is first, honesty, second, love, <coughs> Sorry, my mom is dying in the kitchen. And the other thing which is really important for me is being um, being someone who understands, you know? Like when someone um, can relate to people around him or her and find the reasons why they feel the way they feel. And I think it's very important, so being... Uh, honest like this, loving and understanding. What did the people who raised you teach about love? 